So we're open here on a black screen, which has been used in lots of things such as 2001 Space Odyssey, but this use was inspired by Pan's Labyrinth with the breathing. And then opening shot of the eyes, so we sort of see that it's going to be from this character's perspective, and that's how we view the story. Now the dialogue in this scene was all <laughs> redubbed afterwards and mixed in. We added a um, we added a ambient track, so it sort of sounds a bit more realistic. And then this is all original music um, that we added in afterwards. Now I'm not 100% happy with the dialogue in this scene, so if I was to make the film again, I would definitely uh, rework this dialogue. <laughs> And now this bit coming up here, that um, we've got a jump cut right into from sort of a close up into a slightly medium close up, just to sort of show there's more emotion. Now this scene is all shot, the shot reverse shot, so it means when one character say, says their dialogue, we see the reaction that the other person gives, and sometimes they overlap. We have sort of sound bridge just so it adds a bit of difference into the thing. It's also a lot of um, eyeline match, so it's all sort of placed stuff with the characters we see as they see. Um, yeah. Also into this scene we had a um, we had a fade, which sort of shows the the change in location, it sort of transitions us quite smoothly and fluidly uh, so it feels like it flows into the flashback and so flashbacks have been used in lots of things um, like uh, no, something like Memento uses flashback really well um, it's not necessarily exactly what inspired this but it's it's something <laughs> now this shot was sort of it's my favourite shot in the film it's sort of partially it's a bit like The Exorcist, where we've got the oh, street lights illuminating this character. Um. Yeah, also, uh, with the flashbacks, it proves that we've. Um, it's a non-linear narrative. We're not following. It's not all one story, although it sort of is. <laughs> but we, it's broken up with a couple of flashback sequences. And then we fade back into this. Um, we've got our uh, third track of music here. And this bit, what I wish I had done now is added a bit of foley of them walking, sort of the coat moving. Then we've got lots of fades and dissolves during this um, to show them sort of travelling. So we've got them walking, we've got the shots of the dams. <laughs> To, well, it shows that they've changed location. This is where they are now. And now, I've got the woodland area. That, um, the a woodland ending is um, featured in Lost Things, but this one was inspired by um, Under the Skin, which also has similar sort of female character revealed to be something that she's not. Now this section, this bit here, isn't redubbed, but some of this scene is dubbed, some of it isn't, and I think that um, I don't think that works particularly. And I wish I had redubbed it all. So a lot of this this end section, I'm not particularly happy because I didn't get as much as many takes as I wish I had. I didn't get as much coverage as I could have done on all of the characters. So I had more to play with with editing, <laughs> but uh, I think the the acting makes this scene, this film, entirely. Um, also with uh, we got realism, it it sort of got quite a lot of realistic locations. There's nothing particularly. Out, sort of supernatural, um, so it, 
it, it keeps everything in the real world and it makes it more relatable to all of these all of these characters this section I should have added louder ambient noise because it does sound like it's been recorded <laughs> in a bedroom that line is too fast um, so I would have asked our actor to slow down now this sort of fast montage flash a bit and then the dissolve sort of black and white flashback from something like Memento again um, so this scene I think this cut here, I think that's my favourite bit of editing in the entire film. Um, and this music I think really works. Although it is, it's a bit too loud. So I, I should have brought it down in some of this. Or brought the dialogue up. But, um, it's mainly right. And again, this, uh, the bits on the character of Eva here. Some are very slightly out of focus. And um, I, I should have checked that really on on location. This scene, I had a bit of trouble with the um, 180 degree rule because um, this I had to flip because I filmed it from the wrong side. So um, yeah, but the 180 degree rule, it's sort of. It makes it less disorientating for the viewer, but think about it now, if this was the other way, it, it sort of shows that his life's been slightly messed around, so it, it would sort of work, but there was no way of easily transitioning. Also, I've just noticed now that the writing on his coat is backwards. <laughs> continuity error we have the um, walking stick can be seen behind either here so in fact it was up the top I think that noise was added back in as well and with this ending here we had a sort of open-ended narrative so we keep the viewer thinking and um, throughout the entire thing we see see it from the character of Adam's perspective so it's we learn with him so we don't know what now, Eva really is. News, now this was the last thing I filmed. Um, so this bit just adds an extra bit of something to the film. So it makes you think even more because we know something has happened to someone but we don't know exactly what. So yeah, we, as I say, um, all open-ended but yeah a lot of the film was inspired by um, Under the Skin and Ex Machina also the two of the eyes at the beginning is sort of partially inspired by film Submarine which also one of the opening crops is looking into characters eyes which then also shows the that it's going to be from their perspective and that's how we're going to view the story um, so yeah that's that's it really for this video this commentary also um oh before I finish it I just want to mention about the music because it was all done on one one instrument we just had the guitar so if we had an orchestra it would be that sort of idea of family and togetherness but it's it's not and it's just one single instrument so we have that Sort of the loneliness and the singularity of his character is emphasised through the sound of the music. Um, so yeah, that is everything.